Skyver Brunt's brutal hitting was too much for the home bowlers as she recorded nine fours and four sixes, including two successive maximums off Danielle Gibson to clinch victory with 13 balls to spare. The visitors' spinners had bowled well to restrict Spirit, who remain without a win in the tournament, to 124 for four, with Kirsty Gordon taking two for 19. But the Rockets were in some difficulty themselves at 29 for 3 before the captain took control of the game, sharing a partnership of 51 from 34 with Fran Wilson to get her side back on track. Having won the toss, Rockets put the hosts in an open with left arm seam pair Alexa Stonehouse and Naomi Datana. However, it was spin that broke the opening stand of 27, with Gordon's second delivery tempting Grace Harris to cut straight into the hands of the fielder at point. Gibson continued to thrive crunching a series of boundaries that included a sweet straight drive off Alana King to reach 36 from 27 before she was also undone by Gordon, misking one to the offside. Spirit struggled to get the slow bowlers away, with Heather Knight skying King to deep square leg as both the Australian all-rounder and Bryony Smith went for less than a run a ball. Richa Ghosh batted shrewdly for her 20 from 18 and, following a quiet start, Amelia Kerr picked up some momentum during the penultimate set of five as she scooped Stonehouse for three boundaries to finish unbeaten on 36 from 30. Rockets suffered an early blow in reply as the big-hitting Lizelle Lee, having dispatched Gibson to the leg-side fence, tried to repeat the shot three balls later and speared it to mid on instead. Skyver Brunt was soon up and running, though, hunching Charlie Dean off the back foot for four as the visitors progressed to 21 for one from 20 balls before a sudden downpour held up play. The game resumed after a 25-minute delay and Spirit spinners seized their opportunity, with Dean pinning Smith in front before Sarah Glenn produced another ball that skidded on to remove Harmonpreet core in the same fashion. That left Rockets in trouble, but the captain counter-attacked as she drove Glenn twice to the fence and took 13 off 5 balls from Kerr before hitting Lauren Filer for back-to-back -back boundaries to bring up her half-century from 32. Deliveries. Despite losing two quick wickets, Joe Gardner kept Skyver Brunt company with an unbeaten 17 from 11 and the pair plundered 23 from Grace Scriven's set of 5, including three sixes, to propel their side across the line. Southern Brave went top of the 100 table with a last ball win against Welsh Fire in front of a record women's crowd of 6,500 in Cardiff. Captain Anya Shrubsold kept her nerve to get a leg by off the final ball from Shabnam Ismail as Brave chased down the fire total of 144 for 5 with two wickets to spare. Sophia Dunkley hit a half century for fire, with Sarah Bryson unbeaten 44 while Maya Bouchier and Smriti Mandana laid the foundation for Brave to eventually creep over the line. Brave put fire in and Tammy Beaumont departed after a breezy start, caught on the boundary off Georgia Adams, but Dunkley was in sparkling form against her former teammates. She reached her 50 off just 32 balls, getting good support in a second wicket partnership from Scotland's Bryce, but went next delivery, bold when trying to cut a Chloe Tryon arm ball. New batter Laura Harris then upped the scoring rate, getting 19 off 7 balls including a towering straight 6 off Lauren Bell, before being bowled by Shrubsoul going for another big hit. Bryce anchored the innings with an unbeaten 44 off 36, while Adams extended her lead as the competition's top wicket taker, taking 2 for 22 from her 20 balls. Ismail opened the bowling following. On from her hat-trick heroics in the victory over Birmingham Phoenix and continued her wicket-taking form by dismissing Danny Wyatt with her fifth ball. But the women's 100 top-run scorer Mandana was soon into her stride for Brave, with good support from Bouchier. They progressed to 77 at the halfway stage, Dunkley missing a run-out chance to dismiss Mandana when she could not reach the stumps at the bowler's end. It did not prove too expensive as the Indian lofted to Ismail on the deep extra cover boundary off the bowling of Freya Davies to depart for 41 off 30 balls. Bouchier took on the role of main aggressor before Davies took a catch running back from mid off off Georgia Elwes bowling to dismiss her for 42 off 26. Elwes made it two wickets from two balls as Freya Kemp went LBW and the pendulum swung firmly towards Welsh fire. But Tryon survived the hat-trick ball before Adams kept her side in the game with 40, leaving the bottom order to get over the line. 